Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Blind Woodturners Workshop. We're ready today to uh, make another amazing project but as always don't forget your safety gear. And of course don't forget to keep your tools nice and sharp. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back uh, to the Blind Wood Turners workshop and if you didn't know I'm Chris Fisher uh, the Blind Wood Turner. So what have we got installed for you today? Well we have got a selection here in front of me of power carving tools. Now power carving uh, it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. It's so much fun. I love it uh, and I can be really expressive and a bit dangerous uh, but you get great effects and it makes the work very tactile and sensory for me. So we have a selection, uh, like I say here in front of me. So we have uh, this Proxon long neck mini angle grinder and we have here fitted to it a, a sabre tooth carbide uh, disc. Uh, and you can get varying uh, styles. Uh, this this one here it has uh, coarser teeth than the one fitted to the, the angle grinder uh, and it less of a radius so this one that's fitted which I prefer has quite a decent radius to the side this one is flatter and then this one that Nick Agar gave me uh, when I was at his workshop is almost flat uh, so there's those and then obviously over here we have a Abatec turbo plane disc uh, fitted to a uh, standard angle grinder. So what I thought I'd do today is a beginner's guide to using uh, these two things. We'll do some work inside on the lathe, some work outside uh, and yeah I'll show you how to get quick and simple results but really once you get into this sort of stuff it's all about you and how you use these and just uh, having fun and being creative so with that said we'll get over to the lathe uh, I've got a, a, a sacrificial bowl here that uh, actually Nick Agar gave me this uh, to bring home and practice on so it was destined to be a Viking bowl actually but we'll get this mounted to the lathe uh, and we can start trying some power carving with the props on, on this Okay everybody, so we've got a little sacrificial bowl mounted to the lathe and I'm here with uh, the Proxon with a, a medium, I believe, uh, sabre tooth carbide disc. Uh, and this is my favoured uh, disc because it's not too aggressive. I like the way the radius uh, gives me control on the work. Uh, and the beauty about these machines is because they're not uh, viciously powered uh, they're not intimidating, they spin a lot slower than a conventional angle grinder but I would also stress just because it spins slower do not ever be tempted to force one of these tools please just let the carbide do the work uh, and also these little vents here that you can see never ever have your hand up there covering them uh, because uh, it'll overheat so keep your hand well back uh, and it's just a simple on off switch uh, and I have also got just for safety the spindle locked on the lathe because if that was just loosey-goosey and I was doing that and then I just lent too hard I could rotate the piece and then you've, you've uh, ruined uh, what you're doing so you'd have to turn it off and start again so basically what we need to do is uh, obviously always wear your eye protection like me even though I'm blind I still don't want chunks of uh, wood and splinters and dust in my eyes and I also wear a left glove uh, just to uh, protect myself just in case I forget my uh, sort of like situational awareness and catch and there's a little bit there where I caught uh, myself one time 
Uh, so yeah, let, let's, I wear a glove because I'm blind. Uh, if you don't want to wear a glove, that's up to you. So we're going to, ready to get started now. So I always feel for where I'm going to start and we can just uh, show you today a couple of techniques, a couple of uh, ways to get effects. Uh, so I always feel. So what I'm going to do first is just starting from the bottom of the bowl. Bearing in mind I don't want to touch the chuck. Uh, and then just a couple of, of slow passes. So again, keeping it well away. So we'll stop that now and just have a feel as to, as to what we're doing. If I move that all the way around and, and give myself some clear space here, I'll do a different technique. Now what I'm going to do now, instead of just drawing from the bottom to the top, I'm going to try uh, a sort of like catching it and just doing a little a little flick and see if we can get almost a, a scalloped fish scale effect so again just feel for where I need to be we have some different effects uh, so what I need to do is uh, get in close and uh, show you what they look like okay so uh, what we have here now is the different effects let's start and feel for the first one I did so it's this one so this was uh, not perfectly straight on a bit of an angle uh, and just gently just carving into the work and you get this nice little so if you can just imagine that you've done that all the way around you would get that effect and then the second one again was this one where it was just like a little flick again using uh, the edge of the disc just nice and gentle we're letting the tool do, do the work so again you could use that as a fish scale effect or a hammered effect hammered steel and then this was with uh, the tool straight on using the very outside edge this one here of uh, of the saber tooth uh, and you'll get some nice neat little lines so that's that's some of the effects you can get off this uh, medium grip so I've, I've left some gaps here now for me to change the cutter uh, so wh what I'm going to go on to now is I'll go on to the thin disc one that Nick Agar gave me uh, and in these gaps we'll do some uh, sort of like see if we can actually freehand and do some drawing so what I'm going to do now is show you how easy it is just to change over the long neck angle grind it comes with a spindle lock button so you just depress that and then quite simply it's an, an allen key in the little retaining screw, slacken that off and throw it away and then we have just a little insert so we're just going to put that to one side now so I like to get the insert and locate that in the centre of the disc first feel for where that needs to be feel for the screw Get it started. And then we can just tighten that. But again, just hand tight and then a little pinch. And then uh, obviously remember always to unplug that when you're doing it, which I did. So I'll just plug that back in now. Uh, and there we are, good to go. 
literally uh, takes only uh, a minute or so even for me just doing it by touch very easy simple as that okay so very thin one now we're going to see what we can do with it so was using it right on its edge and just drawing with it just doing a nice little curve so these tools uh, hopefully you can see that they're not uh, intimidating I've not had any catches uh, and you can be very uh, natural with them so you can see that's actually uh, a nice little effect so if you can imagine you know maybe doing that over a bowl uh, it'd, it'd be really nice and highly tactile so let's just move to a bit of a free space here now so what I'm going to do is using this uh, now I'll try and get a different effect uh, and hopefully we should have a, a cross hatch there so again very 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 simple to do just go nuts just go nuts have have, have fun and uh it's it's really it's really so uh liberating this sort of uh carving uh i i don't think i'd have well i would have the patience but uh to freehand carve uh i, I, don't, I don't think i would uh lean towards that as much as I would do with the power carving uh, and again it's about clawing time back and working smarter not harder so uh, yeah absolutely great results so what I'm going to do now is change this over now to the the roll lock bristle brush head uh, and we'll give this a tidy up and I'll show you how easy that is as well okay so I've taken the, uh, the thin carbide cutter off so to put on one of these 3M roll lock and that's R-O-L-O-C and it's by the uh, huge company 3M. We have these backing pads uh, and this is just a, a thread. It took, me, it took me longer than I thought there to find the, the thread. So that goes on there, little spanner. That's just being blind, that dropping everything. And then uh, you have here, it's a quick, literally, a quick detachable system. And then if I turn this on, you will see the bristles flare. So originally created for the automotive industry for uh, panel preparation and, uh, and things like that, getting rid of rust and uh, a, a lot of people use them in the custom bodywork uh, and restoring uh, old cars. Great to get rid of rust and old paint and things like that. This is a 50 grit one. Uh, you can get them in different grits. You can get one that's coarser and one that's finer. So we're going to take the spindle lock off now because we can freehand. So roughly what we do is we get this spinning and we tidy up the whole surface much better than cleaning it all up by hand uh, very quick so we're good to go anywhere near as dangerous but because it is coated with abrasive if I caught my hand with it I would uh, scuff uh, my knuckles and things so I'll wear the glove again so So that's that's as uh, as simple as a process as you could possibly ever want. Uh, and what that will do is any torn fibres uh, and little fuzzies that are stuck up, uh, it will start to soften them all in, blend them in, much easier than hand sanding. Uh, just bear in mind though, because it is abrasive, if you hold it over an area for too long, you'll remove uh, the work you've just done with your power carving it will start uh, removing material quite fastly. So just a gentle touch and you're just after 
removing any fuzzy wuzzies. So imagine if you've done the the entire bowl with the texture and you've got those fibres uh, literally a couple of minutes with the 3M roll lock uh, and that's it. You've got a nice smooth uh, surface ready for airbrushing or gilting or waxing or sealing, whatever you choose. So that's basically it really for showing you uh, some quick and easy things to do on your lathe, uh, on bowls. Uh, so definitely, definitely uh, be careful, but have lots of fun uh, and you've seen that uh, not intimidating at all. So what we're going to do now is relocate uh, outside because it's not raining and we'll have some fun with the Arbitec. <laughs> Okay folks, relocated outside now and what we've got here is a piece of holly uh, that I thought would just put a little bowl, uh, a little concave portion in the middle. It's on some non-slip matting, full face shield for this one because uh, the bits come, do fly off this uh, at quite a speed and I've got my other glove on now. So obviously if you, if you wanted to just do a pencil uh, line to indicate where you want to carve that's fine I'm just really gonna freehand this so again just take your time let the tool do the work don't be pressing uh, and getting aggressive And again, this is huge fun. Absolutely love this tool uh, and I'm just wary of uh, going too low. But uh, yeah, as an example, we're doing, we're doing all right at the minute. Okay, so uh, I'll just bring you in to have a closer look, I suppose. Okay, so here we are now on this piece of holly. Uh, and it's quite a soft, a soft timber, but I think regardless of what timber you're using, these things, they just really do eat through it so effective. Now I can just feel a little bit of a raised part in the middle, but I'm just going here for just a simple little uh, dished out area, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much where I'd want it to be. And what we're going to do is I'll just show you now what it's like just uh, softening off these edges here with this Arbitec. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll be holding it really and just freestyling it around the edge. So we'll do that. Right, let's uh, do a bit of carving on the edge. So. Okay, so it's it's that easy to start rounding ed edges over as well with it. Uh, and again, hopefully you saw that there's no no kickbacks. Uh, it's that it's that sharp and that powerful. This this Arbitec Turbo Planer that you know it just it just laughs at everything. Uh, love it. Uh, so that's that's that. And then what I can do now is I'll uh, I'll get the props on again, and then we'll just do some pretty designs around the edge uh, so I'll be back in a minute and we're back now got the props on got the thin carbide disc on so we're just going to do a little bit of uh, playing around
there we have it here we are uh it's just it's it's not obviously intended to be a piece of art or something i was going to sell it was just a, a quick mess around showing you again uh what sort of effects you can get on on boards uh and flat work so uh obviously if you wanted to do a piece for the house or a commission spend more time on it uh but it was just really to show you how effective these tools are uh, on a on a variety of uh different woods and styles so yeah that's a lot smoother now it's had the 3m disc in there and this is all a lot smoother and i've just taken the harshness off the edge but yeah this is just basically to give you some ideas like the spark show you that they're lots of fun just a nice simple uh, experiment in power carving just uh, different textures different feels uh, different depths uh, and we've just softened up the edge uh, of, of the piece so yeah it's as easy as that uh, I, I definitely recommend if you're interested in power carving you get yourself uh, a couple of toys let's say that uh, and just go for it so lots of fun easy to do not intimidating very fast very effective uh, and you can bring a whole new dimension to your work so uh, that's it really so thank you so very much everybody uh, don't forget to like share comment and subscribe keep on turning uh, and until the next time bye